In this video, I'm gonna share exactly what a day in the life of an engineering intern looks like, from my morning routine, to my transit commute, my work day, and what I like to do after work. Without further ado, let's get into it. Um. What is up, people of the internet? My name is Avery, and I'm a fourth year electrical engineering student at the University of British Columbia. Currently, I'm living in Oshawa, Ontario, working a 12 month internship at Ontario Power Generation as a project design engineering intern in the electrical and INC team. Full disclaimer before this video starts, all opinions expressed in this video are purely my own and do not represent the views or values of Ontario Power Generation, which I will refer to as OPG for the remainder of this video. I am not officially representing OPG in any way, shape, or form in this video, and I am unable to share any confidential information pertaining to our operations, strategies, or the work that I'm doing. With all that out of the way, and now that I'm ready to head out the door, let's begin my 90 minute commute to work. And yes, you heard that right, my 90 minute commute. Um. So I'm currently living in Oshawa, Ontario, which is about a one hour drive in light traffic from downtown Toronto. But I'm currently working in an office in Pickering, Ontario, which is about a 30 minute drive or 90 minute transit ride from Oshawa. Now, your next logical question will be to ask why I'm living so far away from my office. And the reason for that is because in my off letter, I was notified that I would be moving locations to an office in Oshawa partway through my internship. And I wanted to be closer to that office since I would be there for the majority of my internship. But for now at least, my morning commute consists of a bit of walking and three buses to get me to the office. One that's an eight minute walk from my house, followed by another bus that takes me to Pickering Parkway Terminal, walking across this cool pedestrian overpass over the 401 highway, and then one more bus that takes me all the way to the office. I got to my cubicle at around 7.15 a.m., logged onto my computer, and started my workday. My hours in my contract are specified as 8 to 3.30, but my manager told me he was flexible with when I start work. So recently, I've started coming in at around 7.15 a.m. and leaving at around 3 p.m. This morning, I was just doing some miscellaneous administrative tasks for my department, and I had one daily alignment meeting scheduled with my team and some individual meetings with some of the engineers in my group to learn more about their projects. Speaking of, I guess this is a good time to talk about what my department actually does. So for the OPG nuclear stations in Pickering and Darlington, there are a lot of projects that go on in them, whether it be component replacements, refurbishments, or the installation of new stuff. My understanding of what Project Design, which is the department that I'm working in, does is that there are projects that need to be completed. The projects team comes to us and they basically say, design the solution for us for this project and then we go through the whole engineering design process from conceptual design to preliminary engineering to detailed design installation and commissioning and then close out in other words the project design department as specified in the name does a lot of design work which also requires a lot of oversight as well in my team specifically, which is the Electrical 3 team of Project Design, we do a lot of electrical work related to the instrumentation and controls of these nuclear projects. My team recently took on a bunch of new projects, and recently I've been having some chats with a bunch of the design team leads, or DTLs, for these projects to get a better sense of the scope and background of these new projects, as I will hopefully be receiving work for them in the near future. During the day today, I was mainly reading through the project documents that the DTLs gave me access to, seeing what components or equipment would need to be replaced, why they needed to be replaced, and just getting a general overview of each project. I know it sounds like what I'm doing is a little bit boring, but 
I'm really hoping that things start to become more interesting as my internship goes on. At 12 p.m. it was time for lunch and I went downstairs to the cafeteria to eat with some of the other interns that are in the building. There are a lot of other interns in different departments here at OPG and in different locations and it's really nice to talk and bond with the other interns here. Once lunch was done, I was expecting to have two other meetings this afternoon but they both ended up getting cancelled so I was just continuing to read through more of those project documents and doing some other administrative tasks for my team. At around 3 p.m., I started to pack up in order to catch the first bus back home. Generally speaking, if I leave work on the hour, it takes me just over 90 minutes to get home. I take a slightly different commute home than I take to get to the office as I take a bus from the office to the Pickering Go train station, then the Go train from Pickering to Oshawa, and then one or two more buses from the Oshawa Go train station all the way back home. One thing that I've really enjoyed in my time here in Ontario so far that I never expected to enjoy that much has been taking the GO train during my commutes. I never knew that I would like taking the train so much and the GO train itself is quite reliable and comfortable to take. At least when it's not scorching hot outside which makes the trains run slower. And in total my commute home taking the GO train just costs under five dollars. All right walking home it is freaking hot right now it is 31 degrees celsius and i am wearing pants and a dress shirt so you bet when i get home i'm gonna be changing into some cooler clothes so later in this evening i have a badminton drop-in session from 6 to 8 p.m honestly right now i'm kind of tired uh and i'm like debating whether i should go or not but i've already paid the e-transfer so i was like ah, okay why not let's go let's do it for the plot right i think i'll have some fun there um and just blow some steam after uh Kind of a boring day at work today, not gonna lie. I will say that walking into your air conditioned home after walking uh, home from the bus stop in 30 degrees Celsius heat is probably one of the most satisfying experiences of all time. All right, so I'm going to unpack my stuff, change because I'm very sweaty, and then eat dinner, and then get ready for uh, badminton, uh, which is at six o'clock. And uh, because I'm lazy, and also it's a one hour bus ride there, but a 10 minute Uber ride, I'm gonna suck it up and just gonna Uber it there. Because I have such a long commute and I don't wanna think about cooking during the um, week, I like to prepare all of my meals for the week on the weekend. And it just makes it super easy for me to take it out of the fridge, microwave it, and then eat it. For my dinners this week, I prepared some pasta with mixed veggies and chicken. I also like to treat myself occasionally and since I've moved here, my guilty pleasure has somehow been glazed donuts, which I had as my dessert after my dinner. After I ate, I washed my food containers and dishes, which is something else that I definitely had to get used to when I moved out here for the first time, as I was used to using a dishwasher back at home. But honestly, it's just nice to have the fast turnaround time of washing dishes right after eating, and it's something that I've definitely come to tolerate a lot more instead of actively hating it. Once all my dishes were clean and dried, I started getting ready to head to badminton drop-in. There is a badminton gym that is about a 12 minute drive from my place, and I've really enjoyed just going in, playing with complete strangers, hitting questionable shots, laughing, and just having a good time. In today's session, I won my first three games with my partners with some crazy comebacks during those games. But right when I put on the glasses to record, I actually started playing terribly. So here are some of the best and worst clips from the third and fourth games that I played. Um. Um. Woo, there we go. Oh my god, that was terrible. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I'm doing terrible right now. I'm so sorry. Jeez. Oh my god. I'm 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um. No! Ah. Good one. Good one. That was a stretch. Good one. Um. Oh my god, how did I miss that? <laughs> what? What? Oh, nice one. Oh my goodness. Outside? Nice, uh, nice one. Good game. Good game. As you can see, I need to play a lot more to stop making so many mistakes, but I'm just glad that I can play again because it really has been a long time since I've last played. As you can tell, I was ridiculously sweaty after playing, so I went straight to the bathroom to clean myself up once I got home, and I took a much needed shower. Once my shower was done, I did a little bit of stretching to avoid being extremely sore the next morning, and then I had a short FaceTime call with my mom before I went to bed. I try my best to call my family once or twice a week, and it's really nice to just talk with them and just tell them what's been going on in my life, as it definitely has been an adjustment for all of us with me moving out for the first time. Just before 10 p.m., we ended the call, and I went to bed after that, ending a long but enjoyable day nonetheless. Anyways, that's been it for this video. As always, gently tap the like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell to be notified whenever I release a new video. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. More intern vlogs to come, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.